From the White House to concert and sports arenas, even daytime TV, a reminder that COVID-19 has not gone away. As health experts say, a late summer wave of cases is now leading to an uptick in hospitalizations, though still well below pandemic peaks. We haven't reached a predictable pattern with the virus. That's why we have to care. And we're seeing incredible mutations and changes in the virus. Among those now on their second round with the virus, First Lady Dr. Joe Biden, who's experiencing mild symptoms, we're told, and staying in Delaware. President Biden tested negative last night for COVID-19 and tested negative again today. He's not experiencing any symptoms. That diagnosis led President Biden to break out a face mask during a Medal of Honor ceremony Tuesday before later removing it. As some Americans are choosing once again, it's time to cover up in public while on TV. As you can see, Whoopi is not here. She has COVID. The View's 27th season kicked off without moderator and co-host Whoopi Goldberg. Yes. The U.S. Open is underway, missing the often colorful commentary of tennis legend John McEnroe. Even heavy metal rockers Metallica forced to reschedule a show in Arizona. All disruptions from a virus that most experts don't think will leave us anytime soon, if ever. Does this just underscore how persistent COVID is? It underscores that this is a novel virus that's trying to survive. The good news, the FDA says existing at-home tests can detect new variants. And the CDC could vote as early as next week to approve new boosters, which experts say everyone should consider, even if you're young and healthy. The trick is to just stay ahead of it and to keep rates low enough so that we can enjoy our lives without being bothered by it all the time. 